welcome back to my channel Samantha Pola. If you're new, please subscribe and join the family. This is gonna be my first story time. I wanted to do something fun and I wanted to give you a little bit juice about my life. <laughs> this story is about a time I put a friend in the friend zone. I wasn't proud about it, but hey, it happened. Me and this guy went to high school together. He was a senior and he was one of the popular kids and he noticed me, <laughs> yes. And let's keep it real, I wasn't all this. I wasn't popular at all. Back then I was shy and he was a smooth talker. He came to me, he was like, hey girl. And I was like, Woo! And he was a flirt. He was always looking at me and making eye contact and making me shy. During high school, that was our thing. He was flirting with me, I was flirting with him. After high school, a few years later, I saw him in the train and we changed numbers and start talking again. He told me he liked me. So we start talking, we had grown conversations. <laughs> and even though he was nice and cute and all that, I didn't feel attracted to him. And I think that he noticed and felt that I didn't want to be more than friends. So we lost contact. That was the background story and now we're going to talk about the real story time. 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 That was my eye. So a few years later, and this was recently, I'm not that old. I met him in a train again. No, I met him at the train station and we took the same train because he needed to go to the same place I was going. So you might think this is meant to be. So in the train we were catching up talking about life, he was just promoted and he was also busy buying a house, he needed to sign the papers. He was also busy with his master degree, I was like, oh boy! <laughs> Back then he had a girlfriend so I asked him, are you guys gonna move in together because I sincerely wanted to know. So he said, no, 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 we're not ready yet. I was like, okay. So after this conversation, we changed numbers again. And let me remind you, I liked this guy as a friend. So when he asked me my phone number, I was like, okay, I know you since high school, so why not? So we start talking about WhatsApp and we were talking about basic stuff. We were talking about cooking and he was telling me he was a mama's boy and he can't cook. So he asked me if I could cook for him in his new house. Boy, that is something Samantha doesn't do. Samantha doesn't cook for no man who has a girlfriend or a wife. I was like, listen, don't you have a girlfriend? So he told me, yeah, but she wouldn't mind. I don't give a so by then I was done. I was like, oh, bye. So a few months passed, he and his girlfriend broke up. I didn't saw him in these months. I didn't talk to him in these months. So one day we were talking, it was late. Okay, it wasn't that late, but you know, 6 p.m. is late for me. <laughs> so we were talking and he asked me to come over to see his house because he bought a new house. You know when you don't feel a guy, you make so many excuses. So I told him I was tired. He said, no, please come, come, come. I told him my hair was messy. He was, no, I don't care. Please come, come, come. <sighs> I was, you know what? Let me go. This guy is not going to give up. So I drove to his house and I came there and he gave me a little tour in his new house. I sat on the couch. He was making tea. We were talking and we were looking for a movie to watch. So after a long time, we decided to watch Separanos because he already saw the majority of the movies. While we were watching the series, he stood up and began to dim the lights and light the candles. And I was like, oh boy. So he sat next to me with a pillow in his hand and he began to fluff the pillow. This is gonna be fun. With the pillow in his hand, he asked if he could lay his head on my lap. He tried, he tried, he tried. So I asked, do you have a reason why you want to lay your head on my lap? He wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> he told me he was a little bit surprised with my answer, but he was cold and wanted to cuddle. 
and I wasn't comfortable with that. So he took his pillow and lay down next to me. <laughs> and his couch or sofa, whatever you want to call it, was big enough. So he was laying there next to me, all quiet, <laughs> and I was looking at my phone, looking at the time, and the time went so slow. So I stayed at this house for about one hour and then left. And by the way, he fell asleep. He fell asleep. Damn! I know I'm not boring. It may sound as if he is a terrible guy or a boy, but he is the sweetest guy ever. But unfortunately, it didn't work out for us. So that was my story time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.